this is a good one, right? Because I feel like, in general, I'm probably one of the people that agrees with the idea that, oh no, I'm probably someone that agrees with the notion that it's probably dumb to ask people about their, to ask people about their fucking tattoos, usually quite personal and shit. And usually whatever reason you have for a tattoo, even if it is deep, it's never going to resonate with somebody. It's sort of like describing your dreams to somebody. So I understand it's a bit difficult, but I feel like some people deserve to be questioned on their tattoos. Like, why the fuck did you get that? That was actually dumb. Because some people are just, you know, redacted. Like, the same thing goes to Brendan. Like, he's got two that I'm just confused about. You know, for, for one, the one they're going to talk about now, and the other one with his kids, you know, in the caricature of fucking dead zombies. I don't understand why that is a tattoo that would make you feel some sort of affection to your kids. It doesn't make any sense why you want your kids as fucking corpses on your body. It's just weird, right? I want to ask those questions, but, you know, you're going to get the fucking chombi fucking story about his kids presents zombie chombi and he went, whatever, nonsense. So it's quite nice to hear Rogan kind of grill him on the tattoo a little bit. <laughs> but it also shows Brendan's lack of self-awareness of understanding why people would probably look at that tattoo and think it's weird and not having any, like, answers to kind of, you know, push back against it or justification because he just kind of gets a bit stunned and a bit flustered but his clip is fucking hilarious i not play it anywhere for you so you can see what i mean oh that's interesting that's that party's in jelly roll that's nashville ah and now theo vaughn correct but theo's out here a lot right yeah he's out here and a he's lot. in la all the fucking time like why'd you move well you know he's kind of like a rambling man yeah. i just think he got bummed out by la and he just didn't want to do it anymore cheers gentlemen yeah right, probably, cheers. i probably should have followed cheers him. cheers <laughs> now i'm just depressed out there well um you know, a lot of people are. Ugh. Nashville's a dope city, too. Nashville's great. Nashville's got zanies. Like, I could have moved to Nashville. It's got 10th Planet. I, yeah. Well, you got 10th Planet everywhere. You got 10th Planet, like, Dubai. Yeah. Don't you? Well, you yeah. got them. Yeah. You got one in Dubai? Yep. Yeah, that's what I just <laughs> guessed. I just guessed. 10th Planet's worldwide. But you were you, you considered Nashville, Joe? I would have. But the thing is, like, I already had on it down here. I already had friends down here. Ron White was already living down here, and my family was in. They were like, "I want to live here." I was like, "Okay." I'm like, I'm like, if I can get the fuck out of L.A., like, and this seems like a good one to get out of L.A. And it's Texas, which I've always loved. Texas. Yeah, me too. I just love Texas. I've always loved it. I've always loved coming here. It was like when I was like getting ready to go do a gig in Texas, I was like, oh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to Texas. It's, it's the like, best. It's fun. I have a Texas a tattoo, place. for God's sake. Why do you do that? I don't know, dude. Why what? Do get, why do you have you a don't dragon? Know? You no, know? what happened? Oh, I thought you were making fun of me. No, no, no. no but like, like, I mean, Texas I thought there was tattoo, like a reason. It's, it's, yeah. it's the only state when I started stand-up, I've never not sold out Texas. Every yeah. single show I do, I sell out in Texas. I so love you, Texas. That's why you got that tattoo? Yeah. Yeah, Houston's good, man. <laughs> what a bizarre thing to do but again this guy is really bizarre when it comes to brendan he's the same guy that would you know he named his kid boston and he has no connection with the state and then he tried to what did he try to say about it why was it because they both love boston or something but they never go there he never talks about visiting there he's from denver and then my assumption was that most likely he named his kid boston because of fucking rogan because rogan's from there Oh, Bergen's not a Boston sort of state. What is it? Is that is that Mass is that Michigan or Massachusetts? Am I getting it wrong? Shit. <laughs> Where's <is> Boston? <laughs> Where's Boston? Boston sort of state. I thought it was a state. What is Boston? Is it Massachusetts? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. What is it? What's Boston? Boston is a seat in Massachusetts. Yeah, cool. okay, there we go. I got it right the first. I got it wrong, but then I corrected myself. So it is Massachusetts. Okay, cool. So I find it really here. Yeah, Boston is in Africa. <laughs> Boston. <laughs> Boston, Botswana. <laughs> Boston, the township in Africa. Boston, the, the state, B. The state. <laughs> anyway, I found it really funny um that how you know that would happen that way but then it makes sense anyway like i said he's the same guy that would name his kid boston no connection to boston makes no sense because i think even denver for a kid is a pretty nice name right for a son if you're from there like denver's not too bad of a name 
um, Denny, Denver, whatever maybe. But Boston, just for a kid who's not from there, is just bizarre. So it's not surprising they did the whole fucking Texas tattoo thing. But it's funny now because I don't think the whole Texas thing is true. He says he always sells out Texas, but I don't think that's actually true. So now he's got a tattoo of himself of a st- of a city, sorry, not a state, that he doesn't sell out in all the time and doesn't live in. But the funny bit that the bit that actually fucking hurt my soul a little bit for Brendan was that the clip of it started started with him kind of insulting Theo by saying this right earlier on in the clip. He kind of insults Theo in a roundabout way, like their thing. Oh, that's interesting. That's that parties in Jelly Roll. That's Nashville. Ah, and now Theo Vaughn. Correct, but Theo's out here a lot, right? Yeah, he's out here and a lot. And then he's in LA all the fucking time. Like, why'd you move? So obviously he's trying to like insult Theo to to Joe, but he doesn't know that Joe is like a kind of a sincere person. So he doesn't believe in like, you know, negging his friends. Like Brendan's got a weird thing with Theo where he overly negs him when he's not in front of him. Like to other people, he talks like, you know, he mentions fucking Theo's addiction. Um, to You know, he's, he's, reco- he's rec- because he's recovering from cocaine addiction. He talks about him having issues mentally all the time. But Rogan doesn't play that game. So Rogan kind of just like, you know, answers it in a sincere and earnest way. Well, you know, he's kind of like a rambling man. I just think he got bummed out by LA and he just didn't want to do it anymore. Cheers. And then this bit really hurts my soul for Brendan because Brendan then tries to, you know, say he's bummed out in LA and like, you know, as a weird invitation for Rogan to say, because Rogan does this all the time in the past, right? With podcasts. He'd be like, yeah, man, you should start a podcast. You should start a podcast. You should encourage everybody to start podcasts. So maybe in the beginning, also, if you remember, he was telling everybody to move to Texas. But I guess now he's at a point where he does he stopped telling people to move to Texas because probably everybody kept, you know, asking him for favors and shit. So I feel like Rogue Brendan was trying to basically prod, you know, Rogan to get him to say that to him. Like, hey, you should move here, man. What are you doing? What are you doing out in LA? You should come here and join us. But he doesn't. Cheers, gentlemen. Yeah, right, I, probably, cheers. I probably should have followed. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now I'm just depressed out there. Well, um, you know, a lot of people are. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of people are. <laughs> and then just moves on straight away. Ugh. Nashville's a dope city, too. Nashville's great. Nashville's got zanies. Like. <laughs> Just completely moves over it. And then the other bit that was really brutal, of course, was the tattoo fucking breakdown, right? Like, you got the tattoo? Why? I've always loved coming here. It's like, when I was, like, getting ready to go do a gig in Texas, I was like, oh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to Texas. It's, it's like, the best. It's fun. I have a Texas a tattoo, place. for God's sake. Why did you do that? I don't know, dude. Why what? Do get, why do you have you a don't dragon? Know? You no, but what happened? Oh, I thought you were making fun of me. No, no, no. no but like, like, I, I Texas thought there was tattoo, like a reason. It's, it's, yeah. it's the only state when I started stand-up, I've never not sold out Texas. Every yeah. single show I do, I sell out in Texas. I so love you, Texas. That's why you got that tattoo? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's such a silly reason to get a tattoo, but bless Brendan, man. Fucking bless him. Um, Z saying lies. I don't know if it's a lie. I just think it's fucking sad that he tried to you know get himself try to get in joe's good graces by also parroting the texas is amazing line then try to get joe to tell him to come down to texas as well he didn't buy it. and then try to then mention the tattoo and joe thought that was silly like he just tried to get he just tried to throw as many things as possible at, at rogan but he just wasn't having it i find that fucking hilarious 